Asparagus might be the key to treating spinal cord injuries. The discoveries being made at the Pelling Lab might just change the world forever. Somehow, in some way, Andrew Pelling of Pelling Labs made the connection between asparagus and spinal cords. I came across this the other day and it's truly mind-blowing. Usually when scientists are trying to make synthetic organs or body parts, they use synthetic material. Andrew got the idea to use fruit or vegetables as scaffolding to build body parts. And they've already had success with this concept. Here they are carving the shape of an ear into an apple, then they sterilize it, and then they try to coax human cells to grow within it. And look at this, they have literally made a human ear. Look at this on the right. Not only does it look like an ear, but actual red blood cells are able to flow through it. So after the success of the proof of concept, Andrew Pelling noticed micro-channeled vascular bundles inside the stalks of asparagus, which are a lot like what scientists are already trying to recreate to treat spinal cord injuries. And they've already tested this concept on a mouse. Trigger warning ahead, just letting you know if you are uncomfortable with uh, hurt animals or anything like that, move along. So here they are, they have already severed the spinal cord of this mouse. So this is eight weeks after they severed the spinal cord of the mouse. You can see that it's paralyzed. It can't lift its legs up. It can't move its back legs. It's obviously a paraplegic, but check this out. This is after they've implanted the asparagus in the spinal cord. Look at this. The mouse is able to move its back legs again. It's basically walking, not perfect, but it's able to move its back legs again. This is truly incredible. This is gonna change the world. They literally take the piece of the asparagus and they do the exact same thing that they did with the apple. They sterilize it and clean it out and then they coax cells to grow in it. So this is the prototype of what they plan to put into humans. Um, and guess what? In the next two years, two years, they plan on doing human trials. So it's very likely that within our lifetime, if this works out, spinal cord injuries will no longer be as serious as they are today. And that's a future that I can't wait to see. What do you think, Locke? Locke likes it. He's dreaming of that future.